The Galaxy S24 series phones have just been launched and people are really excited about them. A YouTuber named NL Tech did some tests to see how these phones perform using popular benchmarking apps like Geekbench 6, N22, and 3D Mark. Here's the interesting part, the regular S24 and S24 Plus use a chip called Exynos 2400, while the S24 Ultra uses a slightly faster version of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Now, keep in mind that the phones they tested were not the final versions for consumers. They were using pre-release software, which means the scores might be different when you buy the actual phone. But still, these tests give us a good idea of how Samsung's new chip compares to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. In the Geekbench 6 test, the CPU performance was a bit better on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 compared to the Exynos 2400. This was true for both single-core and multi-core scores, although the difference in single-core performance was very small. However, when it came to the GPU test, things changed. The Exynos 2400 and the S24 and S24 Plus actually performed better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the S24 Ultra. In the N22 tests, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 inside the S24 Ultra managed to come out as the winner, but the difference in performance between the two chips was still quite small. Moving on to the 3D Mark Solar Bay stress test, which includes ray tracing, the Exynos powered S24 and S24 Plus models, equipped with their AMD RDN A3 Base X Clips 940 GPU, took the lead. Interestingly, the Samsung Mate chip also did slightly better in terms of thermal management, which is how well it handled heat during the test. On the Wildlife Extreme test, the S24 Ultra managed to achieve a slight victory even though the Exynos devices showed better stability during the tests. User Quadrants Muralis shared the 3D Mark Solar Bay stress test results for both the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Exynos-powered Galaxy S24. The test we're talking about here is a benchmark for GPUs, and it's specifically focused on ray tracing. It simulates a situation where you might be playing a game for an extended period to see if there are any issues related to stability or cooling. In simple terms, it helps you figure out how well your phone performs under heavy use and how it deals with heat. Here are the test results. Galaxy S24 Ultra. It achieved a maximum score of 8,249 and a minimum score of 3,984 with a stability rating of 64%. Galaxy S24 Plus, Exynos 2400. It performed better with a maximum score of 8,905 and a minimum score of 5,755, and it had a stability rating of 64.6%. The results indicate that the Exynos 2400 chip is likely to deliver better performance during extended gaming sessions, potentially making the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus strong contenders for the title of best gaming phones in 2024. It's worth mentioning that a user name at Gary and Han previously suggested that Samsung's latest smartphone chip outperformed the iPhone 15 Pro when handling the demanding game Genshin Impact. However, a follow-up tweet did mention that the Exynos 2400 didn't face any issues with the game because the texture resolution was set to low. This additional information suggests that while the Exynos chip performed well, it might have had an advantage due to lower graphics settings in the game. You're absolutely right. The Exynos 2400 still showcases impressive performance, and the fact that the game ran at a lower resolution may indeed be because the developers hadn't optimized it for the Galaxy S24 at that time. Optimizations for specific devices can make a significant difference in gaming performance, and it's possible that future updates or optimizations could further enhance the gaming experience on the Galaxy S24 with the Exynos 2400 chip. Samsung Galaxy AI. 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 The AI. 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 Now let's discuss all the Samsung's new Galaxy artificial intelligence features. Live Translate and Interpreter. The Galaxy S24 series boasts the notable Live Translate feature, unveiled by Samsung a month prior. It utilizes artificial intelligence to provide real-time translation during phone calls, enhancing communication on the device. 2. Then we have Chat Assist. Samsung's keyboard includes Chat Assist, featuring chat translation for in-app message translation, writing style for altering text tone and style, and advanced spelling and grammar for enhanced spell check, all powered by the keyboard and processed on device. 3. Note Assist The Samsung Notes app now includes Note Assist, which allows for interactive note modifications such as generating summaries or formatting notes for different use cases. 4. Transcript Assist Samsung's voice recorder app features Transcript Assist, 
which transcribes recordings into text, identifies speakers, and offers translation or summarization options. Similar to Google's recorder on Pixel, it lacks real-time transcription capabilities. 5. Generative Edit and Suggestions Samsung introduces camera artificial intelligence features in the Galaxy series including Generative Edit and the Gallery app for object manipulation in photos using Google's Imogen 2 technology, similar to Google Pixel's Magic Editor. Edit Suggestions offers automatic photo edit recommendations akin to Google Photos activated by the Info button. Additionally, artificial intelligence enhancements and hardware upgrades enhance nightography for improved night photography. 6. Circle to Search Google Circle to Search launching on both Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8 is activated by a long press of the home button or gesture bar. It allows users to search for things using lens in any app by simply circling the item of interest. For older devices, Samsung plans to roll out updates for certain artificial intelligence and models in the first half of 2024, extending some of the new Galaxy S24 series features to these devices. Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and Galaxy S23 Ultra. Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. Tab S9, Tab S9 Plus, and Tab S9 Ultra. Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5. The Galaxy S24 series has also set a new record for pre-booking in India, with over 250,000 orders placed since January 18. This makes it the most successful Galaxy S series launch in the country. The Galaxy S24 series surpassed last year's Galaxy S23 pre-booking record in India, achieving 250,000 orders in just three days compared to the S23's three-week period. Reju Pullen, Senior VP at Samsung India MX Business, commented on the success of the Galaxy S24 series, stating it reflects the Indian consumer's propensity to quickly embrace new technology. In India, Samsung's new Galaxy S24 series has different starting prices. The regular version starts at 79,999 Indian rupees, $962. The plus version with 12 gigs of RAM starts at 99,999 Indian rupees, $1,203, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra with an S Pen starts at 129,999 Indian rupees, $1,563. If you pre-order, you can get free memory upgrades and other bonuses. Samsung hasn't told us which of these phones was the most popular in the first three days, but it seems like people in India are really excited to try out all the new features. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribing to the channel would be greatly appreciated. That's it for today. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.